Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Quinn and I make racing videos. Today we're going to take a look at the Calspeed Super Series Round 6. We get a good start with a push on that left tire there with our left foot. Uh, we're coming up on the 24, which is driven by Mark Walton, but uh, he holds us out. Do not quite have it. Uh, we've got our good buddy from last episode, Dennis Shaikowski, there in the 56. And uh, after turn one, we are slotted into 12th position. We skip up ahead to later in the lap, and we can see a lot of commotion up ahead. So now I'm thinking I'm going to be able to try to uh, get by some of these guys because I can see that they're fighting. So we're going to get up behind Dennis here. Uh, we're going to see if he can pull us up the inside of Jetson Leaser here in the 32 on the inside. Uh, and it just doesn't happen. We're, we're going to be on the outside as we come into the bypass complex. Uh, and we're not going to have a good run down the straight. So we need to look ahead and, and try to think about positions forward. We can see Adrian Comstock is sticking his nose up there uh, looking for a position into uh, into turn one. This is a, a not a great place to do it, but we push uh, Jetson Leaser. He, he's braking a little bit earlier than I was there, and we ended up pushing him through the corner. So not only are we going to fall all the way down into 16th position on this second lap, uh, we're also going to get this. A drive-through penalty, my worst nightmare. So we're going to come around, uh, and as we come across for lap four, we're going to try to loop this cart through the tires. Not super quick there. Touch the tires a little bit on the exit, and we're going to see if we can't dump the cart in front of these guys here. We can see they're just coming up. We can't cross these plan lines, uh, but we're going to be able to stick the cart right up in front of them there, and we're going to try back actually from lap uh, in 20th all the way to the end in lap 20th. I'm going to turn the camera off with a little rage there. So we're starting 16th in our second meet. Uh, we're looking for that flagger on the left. We're going to push off with our left foot as always. We're getting a, a little bit of a better start actually this time. We're going to make one position up around the 27. It's David Arnold driving the 27 car. It's a little bit bumped uh, there. It snaps his head back a little bit, but let's turn the camera forwards uh, and see what we have to work with for this second heat. We can see Mike Chen is just ahead in the 56 as we skip up to lap two. A lot of contact there. Adrian Comstock in the 25 just ahead. Uh, and we are looking for this position on Mike Chen here in the 56. We're going to see maybe uh, it's looking like we might be able to tow through. He's trying to go up the inside of Adrian Comstock here. Uh, he's going to make it, and we are going to put our cart right there. He's trying to slam the cart back into position so he doesn't get trained, but training is the way it go, goes at Cal Speed. So we're, we're tucked in behind the 56 again, and we're going to make a move. Uh, he's making a move, rather, uh, on John Rice. John Rice is uh, a rapid driver. I listened to his episode of the Fullcaster podcast. Uh, make sure to check that out, too, by the way. There, It's uh, produced by the guys at CalSpeed. Uh, and if I'm not wrong, he currently uh, is playing around with a spec racer Ford and uh, previously had won a championship in the Porsche Owners Club. But uh, as you can see, we just traded spots. Uh, I got around him as he was slow through the carousel and he got back around me uh, through the hairpin. I'm going to look for a move again as we get to the top of the hill. We're coming into turn four. Um, I'm not quite side by side with him, but we're going to do a late braking move there. We're going to drop it in on the brakes. He's going to go out uh, and he might hold on to this. I'm going to drop back and hopefully we can get a switcheroo on him. I'm going to try to uh, focus on the run down the straight. Unfortunately, we do not get it done and we're going to go up uh, another lap. We can see Ariel Rubio, uh, who is rapid, making a move on me here in the 41, which was a fast car all day. Uh, and he's going to come up my inside there uh, and he's going to try to make quick work of John Rice up ahead as well. Uh, so we're going to move back down into 15. That was, a, that was a necessary thing to mention, even though he was, uh, he was rapid coming by. You see, right past John as well. He was, uh, he was really on fire there. But it's going to give us a chance to maybe open something up on John Rice. Uh, we can see that Jetson Laser there in the 47 makes it through as well because we opened the corner up too much. He's going to go for a move on John Rice into the carousel. Uh, and this is going to make John slow again on exit. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to, uh, to exit faster than we do. We're, we're going to make it past, and so does Adrian Comstock, actually. Uh, as we turn the camera around and, and look towards the hairpin here, uh, we've got Jetson Leaser right up ahead, and he's just up ahead. We can see Adrian Comstock is going to throw the move. Uh, he's going to actually hold on to it there. I'm going to try to get a better run than he has up the hill, um, but we're not going to have it. So as we skip another few laps up ahead, we can see we're trying to make the move on Jetson Laser here. Uh, we're into turn four, and he is going to try to hold on to this. So he's going to make the move there. We're going to try to back this up just a little bit um, just so that we can get a better run. Uh, out, out of the uh, out of the bypass complex there, which is is what you need uh, on the straight. You really want to try to have this move complete 
um, before you get to turn one, because it can be tricky into turn one, but we're gonna try to get it stuck through turn one, and we do. Uh, we get a little push from John Rice behind, and that definitely helps our effort there. Uh, we're gonna go to later in lap seven, and John is setting his move up. We're gonna come up the hill. We're going into the braking zone for turn four. He puts his cart right next to mine. We're side by side. Uh, he comes through, we're clean. I'm gonna try to hold him. We're going to uh, see if we can't make this work. He's gonna drop back. Uh, hopefully he doesn't have the run here. Um, but as of right now, we're, we're holding on to it. It looks like he's, he, he does have it, though. He's going to definitely try to make the move. Uh, coming into turn one here on lap eight, we're going down. This has been a, a hell of a battle so far. We were really by each other the whole race. We're still side by side after turn one. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to hold him on the outside here. we got this long sweeper. Um, the 22 is going to give us a push and push us away from John Rice there. Uh, he's still in a spot where he can make a move at, at this point, but it, it may be a little bit too far back. He's going to try to make that move on the 22, uh, and he does it, but unfortunately everybody's going to drop back from that. Uh, it doesn't take very long for them to catch back up. Later on lap 8, John Rice is trying to make that same move he was trying to make before. Uh, we're coming into that braking zone for turn 1. He's got a lot more speed on me this time now. He gets significantly more alongside me, and he really has this pass done uh, damn near before we get into a bypass complex. So. He's going to float it through. We make just a hair of contact, but it doesn't slow anybody down. And as we come out of the exit, he definitely had the better run through bypass. Uh, and we're going to we're going to drag him. I had a good motor in the 35. We can see there's a ton of dudes behind. They're really uh, they're sniffing for something. They can tell that one of us is going to get punished for this. So John makes it up ahead of me finally through turn one, uh, and we're going to tuck in behind him for the sweeper. As we come up to the last lap of this second heat, we're on lap 10. We're trying to make the move that he made on us. He's going to hold us super defensive. Uh, we look for it. We make a little bit of contact, but we lose all of our speed through that contact there. And, and through that, we're actually going to lose another position uh, to the 36. So it wasn't a great uh, wasn't a great last lap for us. That 36, I think that was technically an illegal move as he made the pass after going off uh, off track, but uh, c'est la vie. Now we will turn our sights ahead to the main. Here we are on the grid. We're slotted into 19th position for this main. We're going to push off with that foot as always, and we're going to get an exceptionally poor start actually for this weekend. Uh, we're moving slowly up through the field there. We're side by side coming into turn one, um, but it's not best to be on the outside here as you're going to see. Uh, they, they turn through and luckily we find a place to uh, to slot in there just behind Giancarlo Maloney in the uh, in the number 20 up ahead. Uh, we can see we're right on him a little bit further up in lap one, but you can see all that action going on up ahead and there are some people who are vying for my position behind. Uh, they're not quite going to have it uh, right there. We're going to have a much better run up the hill. You can see Vince Zhu in the 58 right there. Uh, we're going to turn the camera around as we look into turn four here. Um, we're looking for something. We're hoping for something good. We can see the 56 up ahead is looking just a little bit slower than we are. Uh, we're going to make the move on the 56. We're side by side through bypass, and we get it done before we exit bypass. It allows us to, uh, to make sure we get a good exit here. Uh, and as we look ahead, we're starting lap two. We got Giancarlo Maloney in the number 20 up ahead, and we are up into 18. Uh, we're coming into the hairpin on lap two, and we are going to look to go up the inside of the hairpin there. Uh, Giancarlo goes around the uh, outside of us, and he's going to hold us and uh, really make us go up the hill with him. Uh, luckily, we had a much better drive up the hill, and we're going to drop him uh, without really any issue here. I'm going to duck my head to say, uh, come on, tuck in, and, and let's try to fight with these guys up ahead. Big cloud of tire smoke there as we see Raul Chacon is uh, slow for whatever reason. He must have locked the brakes, uh, had a little bit of contact, and I'm thinking I'm going to make an easy pass around him, but this is actually the trickiest pass I had to make uh, probably through this whole uh, this whole race, this, this main race. We're going to drag race him uh, down the start-finish straight. Like I said, it's not always best to be on the inside for turn one here because uh, unless you can really get the move done, they manage to hold you on the outside, and it's it's really tricky if you get stuck uh, on the outside of the uh, of the sweeper here. So we're going to tuck back in behind the 26, and we need to make quick work of this. We're going to go uh, a little bit further up ahead of the lap. Uh, we're coming up this hill. We had a good run up the hill. We were pretty good through the hairpin, uh, particularly in this last session. So we're going to come up. We're going side by side into turn four. Uh, we're going to try to get the move done. He's going to drive around the outside. He's not going to give it up that easy. We're going to have to battle him into bypass. As we come into bypass, he's just up ahead. I'm going to try to uh, make sure I get a nice, smooth line through here. We're going to get a really rapid run down the straight. I'm going to try to make it around into turn one again. Uh, it, it was, like I said, definitely a battle to try to get this move done. But I went a little deeper into the braking zone there. I uh, held him out a little bit, and he's going to have to tuck in behind me. So uh, we finally get that done and are successful in making it up into 16th position. We're going to turn our head forward one more time. Uh, we can see we've got the 43 right up ahead of us. 
and uh, they're falling back. They were falling back at, uh, I don't know, a second or two a lap. Uh, so we're really hoping that we're going to have something good here for Abel Diaz. As we come into turn four again, this was really my favorite spot to, to get the move started at least. Uh, we're going to hold him here, and he's going to uh, stay defensive. He's going to go uh, as, as close to the inside as he can. I'm going to back this corner up a little bit. I'm going to make sure that I get on my apex when I want to. Uh, and we're going to have a much, much higher uh, speed than he does, a, a pretty good delta down the straight. Uh, we're side by side. You can see Raul uh, sticks his nose up there, but he doesn't have the speed like we do. And we're actually going to get this move done almost all the way before turn one. Raul's going to follow us through. Uh, now we're up into 15th position. That's a, that's a little bit of progress. We're plus four so far on lap five, and we have got a lot of work to do. Uh, we're going to turn the camera around again, and we're going to see who our next target is. Just up ahead, we can see Celso Pier in the number 30. We're going to go for another one of those moves into turn four. Uh, he's going to make exactly the same defensive move as the last guy did, and we're going to do exactly what we did last time. We're just going to make sure we take the line nice. We're going to turn in later than he does uh, and focus on our exit speed, and we're actually going to get a freebie uh, as we try to make it around Celso Pier there uh, on lap seven. Uh, we get the move done, and we're up into 13th. It has been uh, uh, it's been a real decent drive for us so far. Uh, we're right on the bumper of the 53. That's Chris Johnson driving the 53. Uh, we're going to move up a little bit deeper into lap 7. And you can see we're, we're looking for them as we come into this hairpin here. I'm trying to uh, trying to focus on getting a good drive up the hill. It's about having a good drive up the hill into turn 4 and then a good drive down the straight. So we do get this drive up the hill. He's a little frustrated, made a mistake there. Looks over the wrong shoulder, and here we were. Uh, he's going to let us through nice and easy. Uh, and we're turning around again. We are uh, looking up for the 34 now. This is driven by Chris Fox, uh, and he has pretty much no pace for us. Uh, this, but like I said, this cart was really, really quick. Uh, we really had all the motor that we needed for a result, and that's, you know, in rental karting, it's about having uh, the pace that you need on the day that you get the good cart. So we're, we're taking it side by side. That was kind of a ham-fisted fat pass there. I, uh, I, I might owe you a beer for that one, Chris, but uh, we, we make it by and we can see all these guys behind they're still sniffing for a position looking for for really any mistakes for me and uh, we're going to take it super defensive on the way into the hairpin you can see i really don't take an ideal line through there but uh we're going to get a decent drive out and nobody's going to get around us uh, on the way up the hill we're going to move up to the next lap we can see jeremy chandler there at the 47 uh, just up ahead of us he's got a pretty sick helmet suit combo lately on the way into the hairpin, we have positioned ourselves so that we're going to be able to drop it on the inside, but that's actually a, uh, a red herring. Uh, I'm really focused on getting this open and making sure that they do not have a good drive up the hill. So uh, he goes defensive, and I do not, and it allows us to have a really rapid run up the hill. You can see I'm going to stick my nose there um, just so that he can't close us over the apex, and we get the move done for 10th position. Uh, looking ahead for our next target, uh, it is our good buddy from, uh, from last session. That's Mike Chen in the 44. Uh, hopefully, we're going to be able to get something good on the way into the carousel here. Um, you can have a really, really amazing uh, speed delta because of the draft uh, at the end of that straight. And you're, you're in the draft for such a long time. If you pull it off, it's, uh, if you're, you're going 5 or 10 miles an hour quicker than they are. We get it done. We're into ninth, And then it's John Rice. The bookends of this film are, are, are closing. We've got John Rice in the 39. He's just ahead. We're coming into bypass. Uh, we get an awesome run through bypass. And I'm really, really hoping that I can get it done because this is lap 11. We're going on to the white flag. You can see I give him a little bit of my speed there. I'm going to stick my nose in. We're going to try to get this done into turn one. It's not my favorite place to do it, but I don't know when else to try. We're going to try to get the move done there. I stick it on the apex. Uh, clean move. We made a little bit of contact, but we were on the apex, and we, uh, he, he uh, confirmed for me that that was clean after the race. <laughs> I was a little bit stressed out about it because John Rice is the cleanest driver at Cal Speed. He's going to look for a move here. He sticks his nose up the inside going into the carousel. He doesn't quite have it. And we're going to drive out of the carousel in eighth position and straight over the line. Uh, it, was a, it was a hell of a race. It was really, really a, a good race at the end of the day. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And come check out my live stream on Wednesday. Catch you next week.